Finally tonight, we're all still bewildered and saddened from last weekend's mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton. And we want to leave you with some thoughts on this from Harry Smith, along with the names of some of those who died in the most deadly mass shooting since Parkland. City by city, school by school, the idea that it can't happen here gets erased and erased again. The anguish and suffering strewn across community after community is an epidemic, an epidemic so virulent the medical community views it as a public health crisis. Astounding to us that so little has been done to combat it. With each new mass shooting, cries for change ring out. And with each act of terrifying violence, they are drowned out by the silence of our response. We are told it is unreasonable to equate these acts with the number of ultra-effective killing machines that the gun lobby has made so easy for Americans to purchase. And gun rights defenders point to instances where armed civilians successfully intervene. But the score is hopelessly lopsided. The arms race has been lost. Add to this the confluence of our country's unanswered mental health crisis and an internet where hate flows unfettered onto the screens of millions and you have week after week of images of cops attired in battle gear facing off against an enemy combatant, an American with a tactical weapon. The idea that you recover from a mass shooting is a false positive. The wounds never really heal. The scars are forever tender. So yes, this is a lament and a cry for help. We are killing ourselves. And that can't happen here thing is pure illusion. I'm looked at as a hero boy, but that, that wasn't the reason for me. things I had. I can guarantee you that. And it took a lot of other families pride and joy away from them too. Judy? 